Hello friends, welcome back to Data Center Guru, the knowledge platform on knowing A to Z of data center. I am really encouraged to see your response and feedback on the last session which I uploaded in the YouTube. It is really encouraging and with this I am really confident that we would be able to achieve our mission of spreading data center knowledge across larger masses in every nooks and corner of our country and also in the region which will help inducting more and more skilled data center professional for our industry. Today I am going to talk about uh, session 2 data center building block. So before I uh, move further on the data center building block I just wanted to summarize my last session uh, to refresh your memory. So in the last session I talked about what is data center. I shared with you the definition of data center. What is the objective of data center? What organization expect from the data center which is very very important. I also shared with you the data center layers. So how the data compute storage and dissemination happens through different data center layers. What is importance of a data center building layer. I also talked about why are we talking so much about data center now? Why it is so popular now? Why we should know a data center now? So these are the few things which I talked in the last session and in the data center building block I will be talking what are the different elements in the data center which put together cons constitutes and provide that uh, data center outcome or objective which I stated in the last session. So data center infrastructure is one of the complex in nature. At the same time, it is mission critical for the organization. Like we have got hospitals and operation theaters which is mission critical for patients life. Data center infrastructures are mission critical for organization life. A small data center outage causes huge financial and reputation loss for the organization. And that is the reason organizations spend hell amount of money on their own data center or wherever they collocate their data center. They make due diligence to ensure that availability of conducive environment is continuously there and there is no risk associated. The data center building blocks helps creating that conducive environment which I talked in my last session. So if you talk about data center building block, each and every building block is a subject in itself and it requires multiple subject matter experts to cover. Obviously the scope and the size is big for each and every building blocks so I would be covering in detail in multiple session for each and every block in going forward. However, for today's session, I would be uh, providing you summary of or in nutshell the importance or about those building blocks so that you will have understanding of these building blocks on the broader level. So first building block we are talking about site and location. So wherever you are, you are building the data center, the location makes a lot of difference. Because the locations depends on what are the environmental hazards, what are the man-made hazards, what are the air related, soil related uh, risks associated with it. Secondly, it also requires certain level of services available to that location like network connectivity, power availability, water availability and so on and so forth. So we have to do the due diligence of that data center location and analyze the risks associated on that location and based on that you should take a decision and even if you have decided to build a data center then you need to incorporate such a risk in your design to minimize or mitigate the risks associated. Second, we are talking about building. 
so building consists of multiple subsets like you have got structural strength of the building architectural layout of elevation of the building what are the layouts of the building and how the entire services are scattered across in data centers so these are the few things which is very very important secondly space so there are broadly three kind of space which is identified for the data center one space we call it white space or data hall so in that area all your technically technologically equipments are placed inside the rack that is called a data hall and that hall requires that conducive environment which is critical the area is where all the support systems are placed which provides this conducive environment and those areas are called gray area and the third area is also called utility area which is normally outside the building where external equipments or outdoor equipments are placed like your uh, dg set transformers chillers and so and so forth next is building block is power which is one of the critical element it's like a blood flowing in your body and if blood doesn't flow for even couple of seconds a person cannot be alive similarly power flow or the clean power flow inside the data center is that critical so there are set of equipments and there are set of distribution system to ensure that power is made available till the last technological equipments continuously next is cooling this is another uh, important building block where these technological equipments needs certain range of temperature to perform or work and if the temperature goes beyond that then the equipment comes off then there is a problem and your the main purpose of providing this conducive environment or is gets compromised or availability of your data center get compromised so there are set of equipments and distribution path to ensure that that particular range of temperature is available in the data hall continuously data hall and also in some other some other areas next important building block is safety and security system the safety and the security of data center is key or the paramount of for a data center so you need to have a different systems or technology to ensure that it takes care of all the safety aspects of it like your what fire alarm system portable extinguishers or automatic fire suppression system and so on and so forth similarly you need to have multi tiered security in your data center so that the free flow of people doesn't have an in all the areas because unauthorized access to the different areas can be a big disaster for the data center so there are set of multi tier security which is the paramount to be provided for the data center it is associated with main and the technology to provide the complete multi tier uh, security system on the site another aspect is the surveillance system so there has to be a continuous surveillance system on the site to check that how the entire system and how and who the people entering coming out going what activities happening it helps you doing the root cause analysis or also preventing the issues sometime uh, by continuously watching this entire surveillance system the last but not the least is very very important is monitoring and control system so monitoring and control system as you see the data center is a very complex and large facility so you can't have a system where the people can run throughout and you can be able to monitor so there has to be a technology or use of technologies to ensure 
that you are able to monitor all the critical parameters at one point and you are able to control it wherever it is required which is key paramount for data center second is during the covid 19 it has also um, boosted the requirement of uh, the technology uses or adaptation of technologies where the resource availability were challenged on a time to time basis so how you are able to use your technologies to mitigate that risk and run your data center and maintain that availability is whatever is required. So in the last slide, I talked about data center building blocks, which is important. But at the same time, how you interconnect those building blocks is very, very important. And that actually decides the outcome of your data center. So we also sometimes cause data center puzzle. So all these building blocks act as data center puzzle and how do you solve it? And solving this data center puzzle is the key important and the paramount. You may have all these data center building blocks, systems, subsystems, technology, best of the best available. But if all these building blocks are not connected properly, integrated properly, you will have a compromised outcome and even if you spend huge amount of money on the data center but you may not be able to get the same outcome what it is intended for so it is very very necessary to have these building blocks integrated properly and who how do you do that integration properly is something which depends on the skill of the people. So there are solution architects, there are different subject matter experts, which all puts together because if you see on the data center puzzle, each and every puzzle is requires one of the subject matter expert. So the one of the subject matter expert can be expert in that for, for that block. But where to fit that block, you need that solution architect to fit it. And that is the level of skill and the importance of solution architect which is required to put that or these building blocks together. So I will talk other parameters to how will you be able to effectively solve that data center puzzle or integrate all these building blocks together in my upcoming slide. So how effectively you are able to integrate the building block that decides the key data center foundation pillars. So it is very, very necessary how to understand how these key pillars works and that helps you integrating all the building blocks together. The first pillar is people. People means there has to be adequate number of people. There has to be qualified and skilled people for the specific job. It is very, very, very important. If the person is not skilled or experienced on a specific subject, he might land up making mistakes and that mistake is very, very costly for the organization. So first pillar, I always call it people and people has to have the skills to do that specific job. So this particular session, this, what we have started this eight, knowing A to Z of data center can provide a knowledge around data center and based on the people, they can decide to go more uh, understanding or skill development around the data center domain. The next pillar is process. So you may have a great knowledge or skill on data center on a specific subject, but if you don't know the process, how to run it, again, it becomes very difficult and it gives you the compromised outcome. So in the process, there are broadly 
two set of processes are required i would say three sets one process required during the design phase itself which starts with due diligence and the design second is project process so project is a long drawn life cycle you need to define the plan project plan for the project and then different milestones in the project and then deliverables different stages of the project and you manage it second very important part is operational processes because you may build a great infrastructure or great facility but if you don't manage it don't maintain it then sustaining the same level of availability or same level of uh, that environment we talked about becomes a major challenge so you need to have operational process not just people driven it should be a process driven program which makes it success third is the partner this is another critical element for any program or project so while you select a partner it's very very important to check that they have competent resources for the job what you are going for or getting it done through them they have experience of doing such jobs it should not happen that he is doing for the first time and they bring you on the table second they must have reference of success projects and program in the past so your probability of success increases drastically and the last is the financial strength to support the project and the last pillar is product product so what product you are using in that building blocks is also very very important because what technology you are selecting how reliable is that product is because if product is not that much reliable then it will fail or increase it will throw up much higher risk on your data center how efficient it is you have to see the overall tco for next 10 years if you are buying some equipment and then you should calculate your capex and opex together and then calculate the total cost of ownership rather than just trying to find out uh, and reduce the capex cost uh, where it can hit you uh, opex and you may have to spend more money during the operational thing similarly whenever you select technology or product it should be a scalable so that it meets your requirement of flexibility and adaptability and scalability last is the serviceability so whatever product you buy it should have a proper support infrastructure where you are building the data center so that whenever you want to get the services done it is always available also you have to ensure that service serviceability is not for the short term but the serviceability is available for the longer span of time because normally your data center lasts for 20 years and the equipment life span varies from 10 15 years and so on and so forth so you should see all those aspects whenever you are selecting the product as you see in the slide all these four pillars they are also called four p's and they are equally important there is no nothing like this people is more important than process or process is more important than uh, people and so on and so forth all these four p's are equally important to support your data center what you are looking at so if you see in the slide also the entire data center is resting on these four pillars and these four pillars help you achieving the objective what you are looking at for the data center so setting up those building blocks and integrating those building blocks together so on my next session session 3 i would be talking about data center life cycle so now in today's session i talked about data center building blocks importance of it so those data center puzzles how you should be able to solve it 
so data center life cycle will help you setting all these building blocks together because this is not a kind of uh, overnight activity or one time activity so there are set of activities which needs to put together and it is a cycle to uh, to uh, meet the objectives what we set for the data center so in my upcoming slide or upcoming session i would be talking about data center life cycle thanks again for watching this session and i am hopeful that this session has been fruitful and it has provided some level of knowledge and the visibility around the data center and the topic which i spoke you have already been supporting me and encouraging me for this session a lot of my friends called me and congratulated me that you have started the really good job in educating the industry or the people around this so i need your continued support and encouragement to meet my mission of spreading this knowledge to the maximum number of people so that they get benefited select their career and they get inducted into this data center industry so i would be looking at your response on the comment uh, tab on the youtube or you can always always reach out to me on the email you can visit our website uh, for more information so with this i would like to thank again and have a great day have a great evening shubha khair namaskar take care and happy learning bye bye